Hello everyone, welcome back. This is uh, day four and five of our trip. Uh, as a day four would be a pretty easy day. We're just 46 kilometers uh, leaving the cabins uh, at Hillside and heading down to our friend's uh, cabin near uh, Briggis Junction. Day five, we were planning on, the original plan was to go to St. John's, but as it turns out, um, you can't go there in a side-by-side -side and getting there and figuring out how to get into town. That was it was just too much, so we just decided to have a down day, uh, you know, after three days traveling to Newfoundland in the last four days. Uh, it'd be good just to chill at the, on the nice lake and have a relaxing day before we started heading west on day six. So um, we had lots of time. We had a nice relaxing breakfast and packed up all our gear. And um, first thought was uh, heading to Brigus to do a little tour of the town for the day and uh, a couple of stops along the way. So here we are heading uh, back through Cupid's. Uh, you would have seen this uh, causeway in the first video, but uh, I figured oh, I'll film it going back. Uh, it's a really nice spot, this uh, pretty cool part of the trail. Again, it's a beautiful, nice, warm day again today. Couldn't ask for any better weather than this, but uh, this is just a really cool spot here. So most of the uh, information about this whole part of Newfoundland that we've been traveling for the last few days I got from two different Facebook groups and I'm also on the Yamaha Wolverine forum and so there's actually quite a few guys uh, from Newfoundland on that forum and one of the guys I got talking to says oh are you taking the trail up from Briggis Junction through Cupid's and I said yeah we are so he uh, he was in the market for a uh, or waiting for a new RMAX 4 like Mark has and uh, so we just got yakking and he says yeah I says I live right on the trail, but unfortunately when you guys are coming, he says, I'm going to be away working uh, from the house, so um, he told me where to look for it, and uh, so we're going to be coming up to his place uh, just up here, so uh, I'll have to give him a shout out uh, on the forum and tell him to watch the video so he can, you can see his house. So this is his place coming up. Uh, he said you wouldn't be able to see it come the other way when he was right, but uh, when you come this way, that'd be a great spot to live, right on the trail and all that water around. So uh, anyways, uh, thanks again for the help. Uh, I only have his uh, forum name and uh, I'm not gonna say what he calls himself, so <laughs> I actually don't know his name. But uh, anyways, he was a big help for giving me some tips for this local area. We are just a few kilometers down the road and uh, we're getting closer to Brigus now. So a little story, uh, Denise was out with her girlfriends and they uh, asked if we're going to Brigus. Denise says, yeah, we're going there for uh, one day. And she goes, oh, have you ever watched a show called Rock Solid Builds? And we went, no. So we started watching it. It's a really good show. Um, it's about this uh, group of builders run by Randy. and. Um, they work mostly in Brigus, but the show shows a lot of the area and a lot of scenery, so we got to see that. Anyway, small world. Uh, Brandon, that helped me out a lot, uh, I mentioned him in the first video. Uh, he asked me a couple of days later after we found we started watching the show. Um, if we watched it, we said, yeah. He goes, uh, so you know Paul, Randy's right-hand man. We went, yeah. He goes, that's my brother-in-law. So I was, uh, I said, oh, you're kidding. So that was the small worlds. Anyways, he said, yeah, they're right on the trail. And uh, uh, so this is uh, where we are right now, coming up. So we stopped by the workshop so we can get some merch for Denise's friend and us and get a little tour of the place. So their workshop's called the Newfound Builders. So uh, this is the show. And that's Randy, second from the left, and his father. And then Paul's over on the right, and Nikki on the left. Um, so that's the crew, and um, yeah, we'll uh, see a little bit later in the video what happens. So this is the workshop, and then we just went inside and got some uh, some merch. So here we are, just a few minutes after leaving uh, the newfound builders, and we're coming into the town of Brigus. Uh, 
so our first stop here was to just drive around a bit and then uh, try and head down to these uh, this tunnel that we'd heard about. This tunnel was pretty easy to find, so we just uh, parked right across the street and uh, walked in and uh, spent a little bit of time here. It's kind of cool. The, uh, there's a plaque up on the uh, stones that Denise is reading there, so you can always just pause this and have a little read if you want. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, the fact they did this all by hand was pretty crazy. It took them like four months, but uh, the water was amazing on the other side. It was just quick. It's not that long, but uh, yeah, it was like crystal clear water nice and green felt like you're in the bahamas anyways from here uh we just drove around the corner uh, denise had walked ahead to antles bay and it features uh, every time the rock solid build starts you see this place so we're in the town of frigus and we just went to the newfound workshop which is a show on hgtv and you can't see it from here i took a picture one of the houses in Brigus, um, the, the, it's called Le Bleuet, and it was the Gushu house, it's right, uh, right across the road here. No worries, honey, I got some video of it. Well, that was one of the houses they did. Gushu's. Um, go down in the village at the wharf site. It's beautiful, rocky terrain. There's Mark coming up and Steve in the side by side. There's a lot of history here. As you can see, this ghost uh, dates back to 1778. So, this is uh, back, a picture from back around that time. And then here it's what's looked like today. So, after this, uh, we headed back into uh, the, the main part of town and came into this other little causeway and water on both sides. It's, it's a really pretty place, uh, well worth uh, stopping by to see. Just up the hill here, you can see that sort of bluish place up on the right. Uh, we were told it's a good place to eat, so uh, we had gone up there and uh, we walked in, got all like parked and walked in. And I said, "Sorry, uh, we're not serving anymore. We just served our last table. Uh, we got to get rid of all the food ready for dinner. So sorry about that." So we had to go and uh, look for somewhere else to eat, but uh, we were finally successful. We're uh, driving out of town and. I look over and I see a uh, hey the newfound builders uh, trailer so uh, and then there's Paul so I shouted out to Paul and said hey how's it going he's probably looking at us all like more tourists <laughs> so I started telling him about uh, how I'd met up with Brandon and you know he helped us out a lot Uh, we got off at Argentia, went to Beta Verde, 
and we're heading back to Briggs Junction for a couple of days, the cottage, then all, all the way across to uh, Port of Bass. Nice. 18 days, yeah. So it's it's going to be good. You'll be able to torment friends. Oh, you won't be out there this weekend. I was going to say, if you're right around the gas stop this week, you'll be able to torment Brandon again. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun that we got to say hi. We were holding up traffic, so we had to get going. So we ended up uh, driving, heading out of town here now, and uh, just looking for a place to eat. And we uh, found this place called the Briggs Mercantile Company. It's a great big building with a bunch of little stores in it. So they ended up having a really good deli in there, and had some deli and some really good ice cream for dessert. Uh, and we we're on our way. So our plan was to get some fuel in Brigus, but uh, didn't end up being a gas station and we didn't want to go back to South River. So I looked on the map and said we could get over to Conception Bay. So here you can see the red is the actual trail that we would have uh, taken on the way up and the trailway system. But I saw there's uh, on the map that we could turn east on New Line Ride Road and head over to Highway 60 and down to get some gas in Conception Bay. And then from there, we just uh, turned back west on Hardy's Pond Road and that took us back down to uh, where we wanted to be. So it, uh, in the end, it all worked out pretty good. And uh, it was pretty fast driving on that first part. And that uh, um, Hardy's Pond Road was pretty quick. Uh, some nice spots on there as well. I said to Mark here, uh, you go ahead and I'll get some uh, some footage of you in front of us instead of being behind us all the time. And what do I do? I forget to change the exposure again. I got to check that out and it must be a, an automatic thing. But it's too bad because here you can barely even see the water puddles. It's so bright. Anyways, um, yeah, it's going to turn out better, but that is what it is. The RMX has uh, three different throttle modes available to you, and I was explaining this to Denise. We have Crawl, Trail, and Sport. Uh, you always still have the same 108 horsepower available to you, but it just changes the response to the throttle, so most of the time we're in Trail. And uh, so here we just decided, hey, I'll throw it into Sport mode, which means as soon as you touch the throttle, it uses instant response. And uh, so here we are doing that. As you can see, we uh, found a gas station. Here we are now. We're just uh, come to the end of Hardy's Pond Road. It was uh, important that we got gas because we knew that uh, once we left Brigus uh, and got all the way down to Brigus Junction and went and stayed the day at uh, our friend's cabin, uh, we wouldn't be able to get fuel until we started heading west on day six and somewhere around the Whitburn area. So we would have been really short on fuel so uh, we we're happy that we we're able to fill up here and now we knew we had enough fuel. Um, I figured I'd run the machine dry before and uh, we could go about 186 kilometers uh, before it ran dry when I when I first tested it back in, when I first got the machine so uh, fuel was never uh, a problem on the trip. Uh, this was about the uh, only situation we came to where we had to deviate off to, to find some fuel. Now running parallel to uh, the Trans Canada Highway, and just up here we'll come to uh, a T intersection where we got to hang a left. And uh, just before we go uh, through the underpass, the little tunnel, if you, uh, I'll pan to the right here, and that's where we came up. We came under the tunnel and, and turned left, and that was the main trail. So this is where we've uh, come around to meet back up to where we started. And you'll see we go up here. There's a machine. We'll be uh, coming down the trail that uh, we waved to, and uh, 
a little bit further down the trail, uh, we end up having a good little chat with them, so you'll see that in a bit. So this trail that we're going to be coming up to on the other side of the tunnel here on the uh, way up on day one, uh, we just come straight up the highway, we decided not to take this trail, we didn't know what it was like and heard it was kind of wet. Uh, we were, knew we were a bit pressed for time, not getting off the ferry till 11, so and having to make it all the way up to South River. So uh, we had lots of time this day. So that, uh, on the way back here, we decided to take the trail, and it was fine, no problem at all. It was a fun little trail.
we've come to uh, another Y in the trail and it shows on the map that they both go to the same place, so it's like, well, which one do you take? So, I don't know, let's go left. It turned out to be the wetter, narrower one. Then going to the right, but that was still good. faster was that unbeknownst to us the couple that we saw before coming into the tunnel back uh, before we first hit the trail uh, unbeknownst to us they were following us and uh, they had gone to the right and it was a little bit quicker way around you see that we just suddenly saw them coming out from the right here we we're trying to figure out where to go and figured out I guess we'll go straight and follow these guys uh, then we see that uh, they up here they pulled over I guess stopping to say hi so of course we stopped and uh, yeah, it was great we ended up having <laughs> oh my god we probably stopped for a good 30 minutes chatting with them uh, about all kinds of stuff and getting some information and they were local they lived over in uh, they live over in paradise uh, near St. John's not too bad well it we're, looks like we're going the right way what's that No, no, we're from south of Ottawa. Okay. And uh, there we go. And Mark, Mark behind us is from Phoenix, Arizona. Ouch! Nice. So where are you trying to go? Actually, we're just working our way over to Wayland's Pond. Okay. So I can see it on the map here. Wayland's Pond is that way. Yeah. Yeah, I got all the dirt. This map's pretty good. I can just see we're finally going to see it. Yeah, because if you go this way and go left, you're going out towards. Um, Brian's Pond. But if you take this road right here, yeah. that will take you to Wayland's Pond. Okay. So that's uh, Wayland's Pond Road. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Imagine. That's a good indication. <laughs> I just didn't zoom in enough here. When did you get off the boat? Huh? When did you get off the boat? On Monday morning in Argentia. Okay. Then we went um, to... A place called uh, Hillside Cabins, just the other side of Cupid's. Okay. We just came from Cupid's. Hmm? We, we just, just touched the from area where we just okay. come from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, Actually, we work on the uh, Marine Atlantic Ferry from Argentia. Oh, okay. do you? Yeah, yeah. we're oh. on our two weeks off right now, so oh. we're enjoying it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, we do two weeks on, two weeks off. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Great meeting you. Thanks all for all right. the info. Here. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of the day. We will. Thanks a lot. Stopping. They would have seen our out of town plates, eh? Yeah. They, they, she said, you're from out of town. You're not from around here. Did you hear where they, you, you heard where they live, eh? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, there he's back. He's back. <laughs> I did tell that couple that uh, they were being the film the whole time, but then we never got their names, uh, so I could send them a link when I put the video out, because I told them I'd, I'd include it, so if anyone local happens to be watching this video and you know who those folks are, uh, please uh, let them know and give them the link to the video. So this is the dirt road uh, that we've taken over to Wayland's Pond, and this is our, our good friends, uh, Judy and Frank, uh, were kind enough to say so, hey, uh, crash there for a night or two and uh, it's a private cabin on a, on a nice lake uh, so we uh, decided that uh, St. John's uh, wasn't possible for us to get to the next day so like I said earlier we just uh, ended up on day five crashing here for the day and, and just enjoying the day again it was beautiful warm weather and it was actually turned out quite nice to have a down day
So once we got down through the gate, uh, here's the cabin. Great place. Uh, it's really, really nice just to relax and sit down by the water and just enjoy the place for for that rest of that afternoon and then the following day. So thanks again to uh, Judy and Frank. This is pretty much how we spent our Friday, just relaxing on the deck at the back and the front. Uh, you know, went over the machines, checked everything out, and uh, just just chilled, and decided uh, what better way to spend the day than having a few of those beers we bought from the Bacalow Brewing Company in Bay Roberts. Anyways, uh, day six, uh, we're gonna start heading west for the uh, second part of the trip. Uh, it's the big part coming up, and uh, so until then. Uh, we'll see you on day six. Thanks again for uh, watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.